Captain Ramesh, as being an advisor on maritime issues, how do you define your occupation and which are your main activities? How do I define my occupation? My occupation is maritime, basically maritime industry advisor or advising to the maritime industry on all aspects of shipping, ports, dock work, pilotage, environment, safety, security, enforcement, and inspections of vessels to make sure that they are safe and secure and that they proceed out to sea, seaworthy. Okay. How did you find about uh, find out uh, about this position? It was advertised in the newspaper, maritime newspaper, not the Lloyd's Register, but there are other channels. And I was informed that there was a position available and that I would be the right person to apply for it. Uh, how long have you been in your position? Can you summarize how your career has evolved so far? My career has evolved so far with integrity, honesty, and diligence. I have been in this profession for the last 40 odd years. I have gone through stages. I have been an advisor to the government. I have been a surveyor, a senior inspector of ships, and examiner of masters and mates, and also advisor to the government on ports and harbors. Okay, sir. What relevant experience or qualifications did you have before applying for the job? What qualifications did I have? As I've expressed, I had all this previously in harbors and ports, pilotage, icebreaking, as well as the examiner lecturing at the same time. All these things made up for me to be able to apply for this, which I understand is what you require. Okay, sir. Which personal characteristics, physical, personality, interest, do you consider valuable for this job? Basically, I think in any profession, especially in the maritime industry, you need to be diligent, you need to be all round, you need to be in touch with the environment, you need to be in touch with the technology. It is a never-ending game. One is learning all the time from accidents, new laws come in, you have to be partly a lawyer. You have to understand the domestic rules and laws of the country where your ship is going to go. And you have to understand the culture and you have to understand the labor because ships need labor. Cargo loading, cargo discharging, cargo storage. All these require that you understand the business first and you understand the people, how you are going to get work done safely and securely without damage to the ships. Okay, sir. Uh, what training have you received during your employment? It's basically going around, checking, meeting with people, learning through specialized courses given by organizations who are recognized and showing to them that yes, I am capable, I have been capable by passing their exams and pursuing what I learned in the industry. Uh, actually, uh, it is not easy to ask such a question to advisor, but can you describe what an average day like is? What an average day like is uh, when I'm not involved in moving around, then I try to read, I try to pick up the magazines, 
where I can learn something different or something more which I have been missing to keep myself updated and basically it is relax, need free time to relax but at the same time uh, bearing in mind always what I have to do tomorrow or what is needed for me to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, what are the main aspects you enjoy about your work? The main aspects that I enjoy about my work is meeting people, learning from them, and sharing my knowledge with them at the same time. And it's a big satisfaction for me personally when they accept my recommendations, when they accept my advice and they congratulate me for my diligence in telling them, in directing them in the right way. Are there any major drawbacks related to your work? In any work there are some drawbacks. It depends on the people you work with. If the team is good, cooperative, understanding, then your work is done without pain and is done efficiently and very satisfactorily. How do you see your career evolving in the next few years? With this present job that I'm applying for, that I'm being interviewed for, I see that I can contribute substantially to the betterment of the organization and I hope that uh, the organization will realize that I am an honest, hard-working person to deliver the goods that I'm asked for. Uh, what advice would you give someone interested in following the same occupation? To be straightforward, to be honest, maintain your integrity, do not mislead people if you don't understand something, Tell them that you do not know, there is no harm in that. No one is an expert in this maritime industry because it is dynamic, it is evolving all the time. You cannot know everything, what's going on, but you do your utmost to keep yourself updated. There will be downfalls, but you have to be bold enough to admit your downfalls and to correct them. So, what advice would you like, uh, would you give to someone who does not know yet if he or she want to follow this occupation? Do not. Firstly, if you are applying for this job, it requires tremendous amount of experience in related fields that this job calls for. If you are not prepared for that, then it's going to be very difficult because if this is not a learning curve here, you are going to be here as a manager, as an official with people to direct and to guide them in the right way. Okay. Thank you very much, Captain Ramesh. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for your co uh, co contribution. Thank you very much.